Hey, everybody, welcome back for another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet. It's Chef Marty Mangello again here, and I appreciate you joining us for the second part of the two-part mini-series about foods in the White House. Okay, guys, well, who knew that President Rutherford B. Hayes would establish the first White House mess? And he did ask, um, what is a mess? I'm kind of have enough messes to deal with right now. So uh, the attache uh, for the Navy said, um, sir, we call a restaurant a mess. So the Army calls them chow halls. But what we're proposing to do is to create um, two restaurants here in the White House. So this is before the Oval Office begins. We have a little bit of a, a restaurant for the staff that is just growing out of control. So um, today you will find our White House staff mess and our menus, our two restaurants are underneath the Oval Office. And also very concerned for people that are working here that they have support because you're constantly being filmed, bugged, tapped, followed yourself. People are not stupid. They know where we work, okay? We're not gonna wear a coat like this all around town and all around DC. And one of our tricks is we never shop at the same place twice, okay? Um, that is a trick that we employ that's out in the open, so I'm not releasing any CIA secrets to everybody out there, okay? It's just we don't shop at the same place twice, okay? Never let them have a leg up and know where you're going. Um, same thing if you're looking at our candy companies. These people need help as well. They know where they work. Oh yeah, we have found that out in interrogations. People have mentioned like, you know, why did you try to bribe that lady that worked at the candy factory? Now tell us how you recruited her. And this is where we have found out the truth. Even our chefs working in the restaurants and our civilian counterparts working in the candy companies um, and in the champagne factory. Very important that you have training from the CIA, that you have a phone number to call within one hour, and that you can make a report and that you know what to do, okay? You need help because people are constantly looking for ways to get into the presidency. Now ask yourself of all the things and presidents that have been shot um, and killed, have you ever heard of one of our presidents or at a White House state dinner, um, 30 to 40 people being poisoned at a dinner? So even at night, um, I would become a bartender. It's important. It's not like the other White House chefs, okay? You don't get to take off your coat and go home. Um, many weeks, 18 hours a day, seven days a week, 126 hour work week. Who's opening the champagne? Who's back there mixing up drinks? This is the oldest trick in the book, guys. It's called the royal cup bearer, okay? Um, the person who's bringing the cup to his majesty. Hey, you all, sire. And what does the king say? Did you drink out of it? Yes, sire, I did. Really? Yes, I tested it, Sire, it's good. Drink out of it right now in front of me then. Go on ahead, take a sip. Um, when the guy throws it on the floor and runs away, yeah, they grab him, okay? You're trying to poison his highness, okay? Oldest trick in the book, put something in the food, put something in the alcohol, put something in the drink. Take this needle and poke it into like 30, 40 chicken breasts for the White House State Dinner tonight. Do this, do that. Um, one of the craziest things I'll end with today is, is back to the candies. Through some interrogations, we may have found out that somebody said, uh, uh, we were not actually trying to, to kill president. Okay, well, this was not our objective to do that. What we tried to do was to seek in and poison like, uh, we saw the junior achievement in White House and they're giving this M&M to each of the parents and children. And we thought maybe this was a good way to embarrass the United States and smear face into the mud. So we bribed that person and they take that money for a long time, okay? We have found these things out over the years. Notice in closing, I promised um, we would mention the candy one last time. It is safety shrink wrapped in a metal box. 
And look at the Bourne identity box of Whitman's chocolates here. Okay, this one is a cardboard wall. You can put a hypodermic needle through cardboard into a chocolate. Think you're gonna put a hypodermic needle through the metal box that's safety shrink wrapped now? No, you're not. So these are very important considerations for foods in the White House. Thank you so much again for joining us here at Inside the President's Cabinet. Please don't forget to subscribe down here. We need subscriptions. And see you next time.